Here we're given the components of vector u cross of vector v, and we're asked to find the cross product of vector u minus four times vector v and vector u plus two times vector v. So because we're not given vector u and v, we'll have to find this cross product using the properties of cross products given here below. Let's focus on this property first, where if we have vector u cross with the sum of vector v and w, this is equal to vector u cross with vector v plus vector u cross with vector w. This is very similar to the distributed property in algebra. So looking at our problem, the property doesn't seem to fit exactly, but if we take a look at vector u minus four times vector v, this is just some resultant vector, so if we call this vector w, if it's helpful, we can think of this as vector w cross with the sum of these two vectors. So if we find this with w, this would give us vector w cross with vector u, and then plus vector w crossed with two times vector v. But again, we know vector w is just vector u minus four times vector v, so let's go ahead and make that substitution now. We would have vector u minus four times vector v cross with vector u plus, again, vector u minus four times vector v cross with two times vector v. And now we can apply this property again. Here we'd have vector u cross with vector u minus four times vector v cross with vector u. And then we'd have plus, here we'd have u cross with two times vector v minus four times vector v cross with two times vector v. Now because we know vector u crosses vector v, we want all these cross products to be in this order. And we also know when we cross a vector with itself, we get the zero vector. So notice how this first cross product would be the zero vector. We want to change the order of this cross product so we have vector u crosses vector v. So notice how that's going to change the sign. So this would be positive four times vector u cross with vector v. And then we can write this cross product as plus two times vector u cross with vector v. And here this would simplify to minus eight times vector v cross with vector v. But notice how this would be the zero vector. So this simplifies to the zero vector. So simplifying one more time, this would be six times vector u cross with vector v. And we know vector u cross with vector v because that was given. So this is equal to six times the cross product with an x component of negative one, a y component of three, and a z component of one. So this would give us an x component of negative six, a y component of 18, and a z component of six. I hope you found this helpful.